We can all agree that choosing the right career path at an early stage makes life a whole lot easier. It lets you grow in terms of the experience and in terms of the salary that you can receive. So here are the best positions that you can put your skills to good use. I'm Rahul from Simply Learn and these are the top 10 highest paying jobs of 2018. Number 10. A product manager is someone who plans to achieve the long-term goals or aims of the product. They are also tasked with coming up with imaginative and efficient ways to achieve that goal. Now, some of the skills that are required for a product manager are a strong understanding of the concepts of PLM or product life cycle management, knowledge of the product management tools like Jira and Asana, strong analytical skills and time management. Now, the average yearly salary of a product manager is approximately $100,000. Some of the tools that you might encounter as a product manager are Pivotal Tracker, Axio and Poplet. Some of the responsibilities that you would be taking up in this role are delivering an operating plan which is nothing but a plan to achieve the strategic and tactical goals and objectives to build a product portfolio to manage and implement marketing activities and to contribute towards product strategy and vision which are nothing but the steps you take for the product and what you have planned for the future Number 9. A full stack developer is someone who is familiar with all the technologies that are required to get an idea of the finished product They are comfortable with all the layers in computer software development now here are the skills that you need to become a full stack developer. Knowledge of the mean stack technologies which are basically MongoDB, ExpressJS, AngularJS and Node.js, API design and development, coding and scripting, the fundamentals of web development and database technologies. The approximate salary of a full stack developer is $110,000 US dollars. Now some of the tools that might be used are AngularJS, JavaScript, Node.js and MongoDB. The responsibilities that a full stack developer takes up are to design and build RESTful APIs using mean stack technologies to ensure that the applications created are responsive and keep to the required standards to ensure that the creator code has its integrity intact and to implement data security. Number 8. A cloud architect is responsible for overseeing a company's cloud computing strategy like its cloud adoption plans, application design, management and monitoring. Now, Some of the skills that are required to become a cloud architect are a good understanding of cloud application architecture, knowledge about the working of AWS or Azure, to automate tasks or functions and to coordinate them to create a consolidated process and proper communication skills. The approximate salary of a cloud architect is US$118,000. Some of the tools that a cloud architect would be using are Microsoft Azure, the Google Cloud Platform and AWS. Some other responsibilities of a cloud architect would be to develop cloud architecture, which could be software as a service, platform as a service and so on. To develop a cloud strategy and coordinate its adoption and to ensure application architecture and deployments in the cloud environment are done properly. Number 7. An AI architect creates machine learning models with effective features that can solve a client's problem. Some of the skills that are required in this role are sound knowledge about mathematics and statistics, programming skills, understanding how TensorFlow and similar technologies work, new Neural networks and having a clear understanding about technologies related to AI like machine learning and deep learning. Now, the approximate salary for an AI architect is 119,000 US dollars. Some of the technologies that an AI architect might have to work with are Python, R, Torch, and TensorFlow. Some of the responsibilities that an AI architect might have to take up are to design and develop solutions that are best suited for the clients, developing an appropriate strategy to deploy AI techniques into businesses, and to develop complex AI architectures. Number six, DevOps engineer. Now this is a role that's not been exactly defined. It could refer to anyone in the developer team taking part in the deployment or network operations or someone from the operations team working on application development. That being said, some of the skills that a DevOps engineer requires are coding and scripting, understanding deployment and network operations, being familiar with the continuous integration and deployment process of DevOps, automating DevOps tools like Git and Jenkins, to be an expert in Linux or Unix system administration. Now the approximate salary for a DevOps engineer is 123,000 US dollars. Some of the tools that a DevOps engineer might use are Puppet, Git, Docker and Jenkins. Some of the responsibilities of a DevOps engineer are to design and maintain the continuous integration and continuous deployment infrastructure of DevOps, integrating cloud services so that the processes can be automated, and shell scripting in PHP or Python and Ruby. Number 5. It shouldn't be that surprising that this role has gained so much popularity considering the whole deal with cryptocurrency in 2017. Blockchain engineer creates and implements digital solutions for organizations by utilizing the concepts of the blockchain technology. They see the organization's technical needs and solve them using the applications that they create. Now, some of the skills that a blockchain engineer would require are to understand 
understand the technologies behind Ripple, R3, Ethereum, and Bitcoin, understanding the consensus methodology, a deep understanding on how blockchain exactly works, and programming skills. Now, the approximate salary for a blockchain engineer is 130,000 US dollars. Some of the tools that a blockchain engineer might use are Ethereum, Terrain, and Embark. Some of the responsibilities of a blockchain engineer are to understand the security protocol stacks, crypto libraries, and functions, and to develop and implement a blockchain architecture. Number four, a software architect is an expert who makes high level design choices, dictates technical standards, including software coding standards, tools, and platforms. Some of the skills that a software architect requires are data modeling, an understanding of software architecture, good programming skills, and strong analytical skills. Now, the approximate salary of a software architect is 130,000 US dollars. Some of the tools that a software architect might use are AutoCAD, YesCatia, eDrawMax, and Kaku. Some of the responsibilities that a software architect might have to take up are to identify requirements of the clients in a project and to perform hands on work to develop the prototypes. Number three, an IoT solutions architect understands IoT data management practices. They also deal with the data that IoT enabled devices bring in appropriately. Now, some of the skills of an IoT solutions architect are understanding. IoT solutions, programming skills in Java and Python, understanding the concepts of machine learning, and knowledge about hardware design and architecture. Now, the approximate salary of an IoT solutions architect is 133,000 US dollars. Some of the tools that they might encounter are Arduino, Kinoma, and Flutter Wireless. Some of the responsibilities are to lead and participate in activities of architecture and design, to help develop an overall IoT ecosystem engagement based on the IoT solutions framework, and an ability to translate business needs into solution architecture requirements. Number two, big data architects are trained to describe the structure and behavior of a big data solution and how that big data solution can be delivered using big data technology. Now, some of the skills that a big data architect must have are to understand the workings of Hadoop, Park, and NoSQL, data warehousing techniques like AWS and Oracle, programming skills, and the ability to visualize data. The approximate salary of a big data architect is 140,000 US dollars. Some of the tools that a big data architect would use are Apache Spark, Hive, Java, and Hadoop. Some of the responsibilities of this role are to manage the entire life cycle of a Hadoop or Spark solution, implementing the ETL process, which is made possible using the tools that perform the extract, transform, and load operation between one database and the other, working in a fast-paced and agile environment, and to address big data problems like dealing with inaccurate information. And in number one, the highest paid job role of 2018 is of a data scientist. Now, this shouldn't be coming as much of a surprise considering a data scientist is part mathematician, part spotter of trends, and part computer scientist. They're experts who have skills to solve complex technical problems and the curiosity to find the problems that need solving. Now, the skills required for this role are an understanding of machine learning algorithms, scripting and programming languages, knowing to code in languages like Python, R, SAS, and other analytical tools, being able to identify business issues and to provide an appropriate solution. Now, the approximate salary for this role is 141,000 US dollars. Some of the tools that a data scientist might use are Python, R, SAS, and SQL. Now, the responsibilities of someone in this role are to create various machine learning based tools, to identify business issues and to provide solutions, and to create data models, to create systems that can detect anomalies automatically. If you found yourself lacking in the skills mentioned, or you just want to learn something you don't worry we've got your back simply run offers courses in project management cloud computing networking big data business intelligence tools AI and machine learning blockchain programming devops and data science we are here to help you get certified and get ahead i hope you guys found the video helpful and informative thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.